Now we'll discuss programming the basic features of the DG25 Digital General Purpose Pressure Gauge. Programmable parameters include units of measure, maximum pressure, minimum pressure, timer, backlight timer, display update rate, zero lockout, field recalibration, custom bar graph, reset to factory parameters, and custom units of measure. Now we're going to discuss programming units of measure. When the gauge is in measurement mode, enter menu mode by a long press of the menu key. Use the up and down arrows to scroll to find the programmable parameter desired. When units is displayed, use a short press of the enter key to continue. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the desired unit of measure. When the desired units are displayed, press enter briefly and the gauge will display the word done and return to measurement mode in the selected units. This gauge has been programmed to display bar pressure units. Now we will discuss displaying the minimum and maximum pressure values that the gauge has seen since it was last switched on or min-max was zeroed. When in measurement mode, use a long press of the menu key to enter menu mode. Use the up and down keys to scroll to the minimum or maximum values. To clear both the minimum and maximum values, use a long press of the zero key. The large numeric display will be blank until the gauge is put back into measurement mode and records new minimum and maximum values. The gauge will remain in menu mode. You can use the up and down keys to scroll to the next desired parameter or use a long press of the menu key to exit to measurement mode. Now we will discuss programming the auto shutoff timer. When in measurement mode, a long press of the menu key will enter menu mode, then use the up and down keys to scroll until the word timer is displayed. A short press of the enter key will enter timer programming mode, and you can use the up and down arrows to scroll to one minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, or none. Selecting none disables the auto off feature. The operator must press the power key to switch the gauge on and off. When the desired timer is displayed, a short press of the enter key will select the timer mode the gauge will briefly display the word done and return to measurement mode. The timer icon will be switched on if auto off time is programmed. Any key press will reset the timer. The timer icon will blink for 10 seconds before the gauge shuts down. Now we will discuss programming the backlight auto shutoff timer. In measurement mode, a long press of the menu key will allow you to enter menu mode. Use the up and down keys to scroll until the word light is displayed. A short press of the enter key will allow you to select backlight timer values of one minute, five minute, 20 minutes, press, 
which means that the backlight must be manually switched on and off by pressing the menu light key briefly. In press mode, there's a factory default one hour timer to save battery life. Or you can select on, which indicates the backlight will be on at all times when the gauge is powered, or off, which disables the backlight altogether. Use the enter key to select your desired backlight timer feature. If a time value is selected, the backlight icon will be displayed and the timer will be reset with any key press. The backlight timer icon will begin to blink 10 seconds before the backlight shuts off. Now we will discuss programming the display update rate. When in measurement mode, a long press of the menu key will allow you to enter menu mode. Next, use the up and down keys to scroll until the word update is shown and press the enter key briefly. Use the up and down arrow keys to scroll one second, 500 milliseconds, or 250 milliseconds. Note the factor default is one second. When the desired update rate is displayed, a short press of the enter key will save your selection and return you to measurement mode. Now we will discuss programming the zero lockout feature. Zero lockout prevents an operator from being able to zero the gauge in the field. In measurement mode, a long press of the menu key will enter menu mode. Use the up and down arrows to scroll until the word Z-Lock appears. Next, press the enter key and use the up and down arrow keys to scroll to L on or L off. When the desired parameter is displayed, a short press of the enter key will save the value. If L on is selected, the user will see a message saying Z-Lock if they attempt to zero the gauge, and the gauge will not be zeroed in the field. Now we will discuss resetting the gauge to factory parameters. When the reset function is activated, parameters that will be reset include units of measure, timer, backlight, update rate, and zero lock. Note that field calibration is not reset to the factory default. Calibration can be reset within the recalibration menu only. In measurement mode, a long press of the menu key will enter menu mode. Use the up and down arrows to scroll until the word reset appears on the display. Select reset by pressing enter. Use the up and down keys to scroll to confirm or cancel. When confirm is displayed, a brief press of the enter key will reset the gauge. The alpha display will briefly display the word done and the gauge will go into off mode and be reset. If cancel is selected, the gauge will not be reset and will return to measurement mode upon a short press of the enter key.